Sean B. Carroll, born September 17, 1960, is an American evolutionary developmental biologist, author, educator, and executive producer. He is the Alan Wilson Professor of Molecular Biology and Genetics at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. His studies focus on the evolution of cis regulatory elements in the regulation of gene expression in the context of biological development, using Drosophila as a model system. He is a member of the National Academy of Sciences, of the American Philosophical Society, 2007, of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences, and the American Association for Advancement of Science, as well as a Howard Hughes Medical Institute investigator. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Biography. Carroll was born in Toledo, Ohio. He has stated that, as a kid, he would flip over rocks looking for snakes, and at age 11 or 12, he started keeping snakes. This activity led him to notice the patterns on the snakes and wonder how those form. Carroll got his B.A. in biology at Washington University in St. Louis, his Ph.D. in immunology from Tufts University and did postdoctoral work at the University of Colorado Boulder. <laughs> Career Carroll is at the forefront of a field known as evolutionary developmental biology also known as Evo Devo, studying how gene changes control the evolution of body parts and patterns. He is the Alan Wilson Professor of Molecular Biology and Genetics at the University of Wisconsin-Madison, and an investigator for the Howard Hughes Medical Institute. In 1987, Carroll set up a laboratory at the University of Wisconsin-Madison, focused on understanding how genes get used in different ways to generate the diversity of form that we see. The Laboratory of Cell and Molecular Biology lists Carroll's interests as "...genetic control of body pattern in fruit flies, butterflies, and other animals." Carroll's team has shown, in a series of papers, how the activation of genes during the embryonic stages of the Drosophila fruit fly control the development of its wings, and has been searching for the butterfly's counterparts of these genes. In 1989, he received the Shaw Scientist Award from the Greater Milwaukee Foundation. In 2006, Carroll was interviewed by PBS as part of the Nova documentary. The Family That Walks on All Fours", about a family in Turkey that has members who walk on their hands and feet. In this interview, he discusses the possible genetic underpinnings of this family's condition. From September 2009 to March 2013, he wrote a column for The New York Times called, "...Remarkable Creatures", where he would discuss findings in animal evolution. In 2010, he was named Vice President for Science Education of the Howard Hughes Medical Institute. In 2011, the HHMI launched a documentary film initiative to produce science features for television, to which Carroll was appointed as one of the executive producers. In 2012, one such film, called The Day the Mesozoic Died, retracing the investigation that led to the discovery of the asteroid collision that triggered the mass extinction at the end of that era, was introduced by Carroll at a national teachers' conference. In 2010, Carroll received the Stephen J. Gould Prize from the Society for the Study of Evolution. In 2012, he was awarded the Benjamin Franklin Medal in Life Science from the Franklin Institute, "...for proposing and demonstrating that the diversity and multiplicity of animal life is largely due to the different ways that the same genes are regulated rather than to mutation of the genes themselves." 
In 2016, he was awarded the Lewis Thomas Prize at the Rockefeller University. Carroll is a proponent of the extended evolutionary synthesis. Since 2013, Carroll has been listed on the Advisory Council of the National Center for Science Education. Topic: <laughs> Selected works. Topic books from DNA to Diversity, Molecular Genetics and the Evolution of Animal Design, with Jennifer Grenier and Scott Weatherby 2004, Wiley Blackwell, ISBN 1-4051-1950-0 Endless Forms Most Beautiful, The New Science of Evo Devo and the Making of the Animal Kingdom 2005, W. W. Norton and Company, ISBN 0-393-06 The Making of the Fittest, DNA and the Ultimate Forensic Record of Evolution 2006, W. W. Norton and Company, ISBN 0-393-06163-9 Into the Jungle, Great Adventures in the Search for Evolution 2008, Benjamin Cummings, ISBN 0-321-55671-2 Remarkable Creatures, Epic Adventures in the Search for the Origin of Species 2009, Houghton Mifflin Harcourt, ISBN 0-151014 485x Brave Genius, a scientist, a philosopher, and their daring adventures from the French Resistance to the Nobel Prize 2013, Crown, ISBN 0-307-95233-9 The Serengeti Rules, The Quest to Discover How Life Works and Why It Matters 2016, Princeton University Press, ISBN 9780690 91,167,428 Topic: Magazine articles. The Origins of Form: Ancient Genes, Recycled and Repurposed, Control Embryonic Development in Organisms of Striking Diversity, 2005, Natural History Magazine. God as Genetic Engineer. A review of Michael B. Hay's book, The Edge of Evolution, The Search for the Limits of Darwinism. 2007, Science Magazine. Regulating Evolution, How Gene Switches Make Life. 2008, Scientific American. Reception Science writer Peter Forbes, writing in The Guardian, calls Endless Forms most beautiful an essential book, and its author, both a distinguished scientist and one of our great science writers. In Forbes's view, in the Serengeti Rules Carol, manages to unite natural history with the hard science of genomics. Louise S. Mead, reviewing The Making of the Fittest for the National Center for Science Education, notes that Carroll provides, "...some of the overwhelming evidence for evolution provided in DNA." Using different lines of inquiry such as DNA sequences that code for genes no longer in use, and evidence of evolutionary change. Mead notes that evolutionary theory has predictive power, as with ice fish whose ancestors had hemoglobin, but no longer needing it in icy water, they have lost it. Douglas H. Irwin, reviewing Endless Forms Most Beautiful for Artificial Life, remarks that life forms from Drosophila to man have far fewer genes than many biologists expected, in man's case, only some 20,000, which is about the same as a fly. He notes the astonishing morphological diversity of animals coming from such a limited number of genes. He praises Carroll's insightful and enthusiastic style, writing in a witty and engaging way, pulling the reader into the complexities of Hawks and Pax 6, as well as celebrating the Cambrian explosion of life forms, and much else. <laughs>